Welcome back to Let's Play Summonite Swordcraft Story for the GBA. I'm the Meeple Massacre, and the last one, we were gonna follow Razzie to some shit. I don't fucking know. But I decided to do some grinding for some mystic ores so we could power up our current sword. And in this one, <clears throat> you'll see that I'm currently in the dungeon. And the reason for this is because I figured out something. I figured out that these guys can gargle on my chowder! I figured out that we can pass this area where the summon creature was. So we can actually explore more of the dungeon, and I wanted to do that on screen so that you guys could see it. Guys, don't forget to participate in the discussion for today's video, which of course asks the hard-hitting questions. The questions that America and Canada because I'm Canadian, so it's kind of who wants to know that. They want to know, and you guys can see the question and know that I'm full of shit at this point. What is the best flavor of chips, and why is it dill pickle? I, I get it, man. I get it. Some people don't have dill pickle chips, and some people don't understand the majesty of dill pickle chips, but, I mean, like, I feel for you guys. I really do. I... I feel for you guys, because it, it's, it is the best thing. <clears throat> oh my god, okay. So this is not bad, this is not bad, this, those, are, those are some decently good enemies. <clears throat> and they do give some decently good experience, and I am, like, hacking and choking everywhere. Um, are there anything... I think I broke- I think there were, like, breakable things here, and I- I broke them already. Cause... Like, I- I came over here and I was like, hey, did I explore this place yet? And it turns out that I hadn't, so we're just gonna keep going down. But it was when I moved over here and I saw- Yeah, I saw this place. One, two, three. Oh shit. Um... Keep, just keep swinging, man. Just keep swinging. Because you can take care of these guys in one combo hit. Uh, we got nothing in here, but we got three chests! That's how I know we didn't explore this place. So, one, small generator. Two, clots and potion. Three, clots and potion. Alright. I get the feeling that would have been more like climactic if we would have started on the left-hand side, but... Yo, Japanese game? Japanese way of playing? Um... So yeah, I I did some grinding for, um, for Mystic Ores, and man, we got enough. Also, yo, shout out to Tronboy, uh, a good, a good friend of mine, got a large bolt. Uh, who told me, who told me, um, what the, uh, what the agility stat is for, which is apparently how fast you move around, like, this area, and your jump. Which, like, okay. Um, let's, let's assume that I, I understand what the fuck is going on there. Uh, your jump! I guess you jump higher, or you jump quicker? Uh, sh I mean, fucking sure? Uh, I don't see that being super helpful in this game. Hey, we got this new thing! Uh, I'm gonna keep going, because I wanna get more... Um, I wanna get more shit. Remember, like, you want to be as close to these guys as you possibly can, because uh, they shoot their lightning bolt pretty far away. So, like, you'll see that if they're not doing that lick attack thing, they'll actually kind of jump back. <coughs> oh, man. I'm not doing good today in terms of the throat. I just had some strawberries. Mmm. Nondescript water. I mean, is it a brand? Is it not? I mean, technically everything's branded, so... 
I mean, yo girl, she branded. And I'm gonna just... Oh, so that's a wind-up attack. That means... Uh, it's gonna hit you no matter what. Which is kinda shitty. But, we're gonna move around here. Uh, I don't know, today might just be like a... Today might just be a going through the dungeon, crafting new shit, you know, we might do... Oh, small faucet, though? We might do some story on Wednesday. Uh, who knows? I'm not... I'm not... I'm not doing this. I'm not... That's way too damn long. Uh, we gonna come up here. Evil spirit and gel slime? Yeah, I could... I could... I could fuck with you. I don't... Fuck with you, you. I don't fuck with you. Wow. Ah, oh, fucker. Knock me out of the air. I don't really care. Fucking healing items are so fucking easy to come by. But uh, unfortunately, uh, we missed out on some shit on the left hand side. Killer Axe, my dude. Oh! You about to get knocked up on your ass. Uh, so for the record, I'm gonna have so fucking many Mystic Ores. I, cause what, I got like six in this episode alone? Gear parts? Fuck yeah. Small faucet? Further fuck yeah. We gonna use this. We gonna chain spark. Let's go. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, that is that's that's super hype. One, two, three. One, two. That is a lot of experience. Fuck yeah. Clots and potion. Yeah. I'm so fucking glad I came back for that shit. Um. Is there anything down here? I don't think so. Luckily with these fucking airborne enemies. Okay, now there's nothing back here. Uh, we can just kind of move aside. I mean, I am I am gonna fight these these killer things every single time I see them because there there is literally no reason not to have more mystic or things are just gonna cost more as we get through the game. That is eight, I'm pretty sure. Eight or ten? Oh my god, I think this is gonna be ten. Three, hit me. One, two, three. Like, 137. So, like, what? What's that? Uh, so, 37, 37 is 70. 74? 70. Yeah, 74. And 37 again is 101. So, that's like, what, 401? So, yeah, that's, that's how much damage I'm doing to you, and you're doing 50 to me. So, congrats, because I can just go in here, go into my kicker potion, and heal that off. And I do 401 per swing. So, oh, uh, literally no reason to go up there. I guess that's just a fucking design aesthetic, where it's like, hey, do you want to go up on this pillar and, like, search out and wonder when your life will begin? Oh, jump back! No! One, two, three. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're good, man, we're good. I'm guessing this is how you go further down. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna kind of leave, and we're gonna attempt to go back. I wish we had, uh, a healing station. Cause, it'd be nice to get my spells back. But we're gonna come over here first. Mermarian? I don't... Ah, ooh! You're a powered-up version of an enemy we've seen before. Uh... That's interesting. Oh, okay, so the jump will actually avoid his attack. 
and we got the level up, and we're allocating two points. Is that two points now per level up, like, permanently? Because that'd be pretty fucking wild if it was. We oh, okay. I was gonna say, we got nothing coming back here. And that, that would have pissed me off. Uh, let's... Let's try and rush through this. This is the farthest I have ever been in the game, by the way. So, everything after this is... I'm almost 100% sure blind for me. And you guys know what that means! <laughs> Prepare for me to have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Oh my god. I hate monsters on either side of you. I hate having monsters on either side of you. We're gonna save the game. We're gonna save it right here where Kagro Volcano is, because we've already uploaded that episode. In fact, we've uploaded both of these episodes, so it doesn't really matter too much. Because it is the start of the week, my dudes. It is Monday, my dudes. How's everybody's Monday, man? I know Monday can sometimes suck, right? It's it's the start of your work week, you know, or it's the start of your school week. But, I don't know. I never minded Mondays. You know what I really hated? Was fucking Wednesdays. And let me tell you, oh, there's a healing station. And there's... A door? There's a door. First off, healing station. It's locked. It is locked. We cannot go any further. Um, I hated Wednesdays, because a Wednesday is a gauge of how the rest of your week's gonna be. Right? And I, I just kind of hate- I dreaded Wednesdays. I guess I didn't hate all Wednesdays. Because if my Monday and Tuesday just flew by, then I was like, man, Wednesday, if this is a good gauge for what the rest of the week is going to be, you know? The Thursday and Thursday and Friday are just going to blow by, and it's going to be the weekend before I know it. But, oh man, if your Monday and Tuesday sucked, that shit is the worst. Would you fuck off? Oh, this is gonna blow. This is gonna suck, this is gonna blow. Hold on. Chase Spark, go! Go, Cuddy! Blow this piece of shit back! Cuddy leveled up, yay! Good job, Cuddy. Alright, we have the teleporter here. One final fight before we go. Should we do it? Yeah, we should fight it! We should fight the good fight! Uh, Wednesdays, man. They can either have you, like... Uh, you know what? You know what? I should be using the wind magic with these guys, because these guys are electric-type enemies. That's why it's not doing a lot of damage. Oh. We're gonna move back, we go and get the fuck out. So keep in mind, by the way, keep in mind that we got, like, ten Mystic Ores in this episode alone. With how many Mystic fucking Ores I have right now. We're going to create materials, using everything that we earned beforehand and everything that we got today. So we've got a small tender. We've got three Red Lanterns. We got the Fire Starter. We got a Lava Stone. Two Copy Mugs. Four Small Faucets. Two Heat Sinks. Two Mini Fans. Uh, are these Large Bolts? My dude. We got nine Large Bolts. Two Gear Parts. One gore Core Parts. A Conductor Rod. A small generator. This cup does not matter. Small bolt. Uh, black boots. I'm actually, uh, I was supposed to use those during grinding, and I didn't. Spiked shoes, my dude. And of course, the- oh! Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. 
So, this increases our attack by just as much as what we have, but also increases our agility. I mean, I don't like agility, but the Magatama necklace is just better, right? It, it's just better. I spat everywhere. Uh, so I am actually going to turn this spiral ring into parts. So, 62 pieces of Mystic Ore. I think we're fine. Uh, the Flare Blade? No. No, we're gonna be re-equipping that fucking flare blade in a in a, in a second, in a hot minute. But first, we're gonna come down here to this bastard sword, and we're gonna power it up with 15 mystic ores, 62, and we're already going down to 47. And the water gem sword is here. 62 power, holy shit. Okay, so, into our equipment. We're gonna remove the Bastard Sword, and we're going to equip the Water Gem Sword. The Repu Blade, we're going to equip the Flare Blade. And Spark Gladius, we're going to equip, uh, I mean... We're gonna equip the Repu Blade. The Repu Blade has the lowest amount of tech, well, not the lowest amount of tech, that'd be the Water Gem Sword, because we've literally just gotten it. Um, yo, should we create more axes? Uh, I'm gonna create this axe, because I wanna. That's a double-edged axe, and I'm gonna create the Whirlwind Axe. The Edge Axe, I'm gonna go ahead and create the Aqua Edge Axe. And I'm actually... Let's go into my equipment here, because the Repu Blade... Uh, does not do as much damage as the Whirlwind Axe. And this has more durability. Yeah, I'm gonna equip the Whirlwind Axe. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know what? We got time. Let's start the story. Um, we have to go and meet Razzy by the pier. So let's go ahead and do that. Razzy, my dude? Yeah, well, Razzy, my girl? <laughs> I say my dude to everybody. Oh, oh, my nose. Oh, my nose. I'm goobering fucking everywhere. Oh, do I have, like, any cloth of any kind? Oh, God. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this. You know, hopefully, this doesn't catch up on the because it is. It's kind of nasty, actually. I got kind of like a hot light here, so we goobered everywhere, man. You're leaping, sis. Let's sail out. Uh, okay, let's go to Vance. Time to sail out. Oh, sorry. Apparently everybody hit the deck. Not yet. Too many earthquakes. I wonder if there are any connections between the earthquakes and the Kagro volcano. Hmm. Let's head out, big sis! Oh, <laughs> I was just spacing out. Sorry about that. We go ahead to Vance! The Vance Cape! Cape Vance! Cape Vance! Here we are, big sis! Big sis, you guys can you guys can take care of this now. Sure. We got the guild delivery. All right, big sis, I'm going now. Is this our second time to Vance? Let's go, Kitty. Kitty! Yeah. I think this is yeah. This is the this is the place we went in the beginning of the game. And there was like a section of Vance that we couldn't uh, get to, right? I'm I'm assuming we're gonna be able to get to that place now. But let's go in here. Let's sell some weapons. Uh, excuse me, I'm running errands for Braun? Oh, long time no see. Big sis, there's a promotion going on right now. They're giving double cash for trade-ins. <laughs> well then, I'll go check on the shipment. You guys wait here. Now. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, magnificent. Bronze swords are always great, just as expected. Here's the money. I doubled it as promised, so take it to Braun. Hmm. 
I didn't know my uncle's that great. Razzy, you don't know Braun all that well, do you? No, he'd rather be a strict master than a caring uncle. That's all I can picture about him. You're not right, but you're not really wrong either. He's now who you know him as, but he used to be a candidate for Craft Lord once. Braun refused to accept the position, and Lubert became the Craft Lord instead. You're kidding me! Is he really that great? I didn't know that either. Could he? Could he didn't remember, I guess. We need to train to be even better than our master! Yeah, man. Yo, the master the student has become the master, my dude. Oh yeah, last year, a brother and sister moved to this town. But the sister seems to be suffering from an illness. She's here to recover. Huh, did you know that, big sis? No, I've never heard of them. Oh, I see. You guys didn't know, huh? I thought everybody would know about them. The one who moved in is the Craft Lord of Jade, Master Rexa. He has a house on the top of the hill near my place. What? Master Rexa lives there? Cool, let's go visit his house! Oh, wait, Razzy! Oh, so he was talking about, I think it was like his sister or something? Ooh. Oh, Master Rexa? Could he? Yo, we saw that. Is he coming down here? Is he coming down here to steal our ship? I cut him. No? Um, is he in the inn? Is he in the inn? Let's go in here. No? Oh, maybe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's an upstairs. There's an upstairs. Hey, Chica, how you doing? Um, alright. So, I don't get the point of inns in this game. Like, <laughs> you can pay to be healed, or you could just go back to your, like, area. I walked all around for fucking nothing. Uh, I can't go in there. Let's go in here, see maybe if the shop has changed? Yep, yeah, wow, what the fuck? Recovers full HP, activates when at zero. I think I just found a reason for our money! Yo, jewel ring, attack plus 20? Uh, it's only plus three. And, you know what, I'm gonna be smart, I'm gonna be smart, I'm not gonna get the jewel ring, I'm gonna keep the Magatama necklace. Uh, the jewel necklace. You know, the Magatama is still better. Uh, but I think... I think we're gonna get that fucking med kit. As soon as we can. It's basically a fairy. Venice, 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 Venice. I mean, the houses have literally never had anything for us. But yeah, okay, so there's this. Is the guy still... He's not still standing here. Oh, there are bitches! We're not gonna fight the bitches yet. Uh, but I am gonna go with Razzy. Yo, Razzy. Razzy. Um, you know it's rude to stare? This is it, Big Sis. It's Master at X's house. Stop it, Razzy. Peeking into a house isn't a nice thing to do. Are we forgetting about when Master Udexa trapped us in a fucking volcano and tried to beat the shit out of us? Alright. But it's weird to enter the front door without asking, isn't it? Wow, what a beautiful lady. Really? What is she like? Yo, cute girls and we immediately are like, No, fuck it, let me, let me peek in, yo. Ah, I see, Big Sis. You're interested in these kinds of things, huh? Not really. Ah, Big Sis, you're only interested in only, you're interested in only beautiful women. Why are you so quick to judge? <laughs> Could he? I mean, spot it. It's your fault, Big Sis. <laughs> you don't have to peek in anymore. You're welcome to come in. I do not have a lot of female voices in my rap. Um, uh, hi? Uh, uh, how do I, like... First off, you hella pale, though! Holy shit! You need to get some sun! Also, that's a badass-looking, like, Christmas candy cane weapon you got in the back there. It looks like a fucking halberd. Um... Umani. Uh... I'm Umani. Nice to meet you. I'm uh, nice meeting you too. I'm Kita. Uh, this is Cuddy. Cuddy. I'm Razzy. Uh, we're sorry that we peeked in. I'm sorry. 
that's okay. I was just aboard and alone, so I was sleeping. So did you come out of, uh, out of coming from Western? We races this far! Yes, we did! I see. I used to live there, but I moved up here a year ago. To cure my illness, it's better for me to stay away from an industrial city like a Western and live in the other front of the town here in the Netherlands. <laughs> this started off as just like a subtle Japanese accent. Now we've just gone pure racist with it. Fuck it. Uh, are you sick? Yes, sir, I am. In fact, being this close to her is probably a bad thing. A very, very bad thing. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't worry about it. Uh, I heard the tournament for nominating a cool ref to road is going into the Western right now. Oh, yes. I've lost already, but Big Sis has moved up to the semi final. Oh, my, I'm most impressive. Hang in there, I hope you win the tournament. Uh, I'm not that great, but. Big Sis, you're all antsy. <sighs> I might be nervous. <laughs> Oh, by the way, how are the seven crude afternoons doing? Oh yes, uh, Master Rondo is taking it easy. And Master Sakura is fine too. Oh, we saw Master Udex and Master Luber the other day. They seem to be doing okay, I guess. Oh, we haven't seen Master Corin bring sis. We have only one lady who goes by that name, right? Yes, that's right, there used to be two ladies among the craft lords until three years ago, though. My, you know a lot of things. <laughs> oh, we haven't seen Tyron lately either. Uh, speaking of which, who is yo? Who is Master Tyron? As I like took the fucking boogers from her face again. Oh shit! Yo, I got the sniffles. Something hella fierce. Tell me I'm not getting sick. Who is it? Big sis, I often wonder if you're really interested in craft lords. Motherfucker, this game has not told us shit. Yes, I am. To me, talking about craft lords is like talking about my father. That's why I'm interested. But yo, I got like a hair. I see. Master Tyrum is one of the seven craft lords. He's the craft lord of crystal. He's known as Tyrum the Calm. I'm really inspired by him, so remember that name. He's like fucking. The, the calm? Like, I'm the same way, yeah. The what? That is... Oh, uh, nope, that, nope, that was Kita's voice. That is the calmness of the ocean without any wind or waves. I think that's a fucking excuse for this man to laze around. He, yo, he's smoking that reefer. He just has, like, he just has, like, bags of, like, empty bags of Doritos around his fucking room. This guy is a lazy prick. Oh, I see. Tyron might not be in the Western. I wonder if anything happened to him. <coughs> what do you mean? Tyron is in my sweetheart. What? Really? Yes, but I've lost touch with him since I received a letter from him not two months ago. Before that, he came to see me every three days and his pendant. Without the, the other pieces, both it and I feel rotary. Wow, it's beautiful! It's got a tear- it's got a tear shape! It looks like it's weeping. Yes, it might really be crying. OR IT'S A PENDANT! Huh? This pendant is consisted of three pieces to make a shape. It's a rack of pleasure! A piece to myself, another to Tyram, and the other to my brother. This was a gift in the hopes that the three of us can put the pieces back or someday, and the river happily. I am sorry, I only talk about myself. Oh no, not at all. Oh, big sis, we might want to head back, our master would yell at us. Yeah. Uh, Rumani, please excuse us now. May we come and visit you again? Oh, because you may! I'm a sorry. I had no choice but to do this. Even if I involved a child, the child of she takes me. Pretty. I'm a sorry. Please support the kita. What do you 
you waiting for, Cuddy? Brassy's already gone to the port. Yo, can I go back in? I can go back in. Is she waiting for you? Go see her right away. <laughs> I want to see what happens if I go over here, because this guy's no longer blocking it, so can I just... Oh, uh, who are you? Uh, who are you? Uh, who are you? Are there no, like, side entrances? No? Ugh, fine. Why not just have the guy block the fucking way again, then? Wait, is that... Nope, there's nobody. Okay. Grassy's already waiting for us at the port, so there he is, or there she is. Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm late. Hey! What's up, Grassy? Uh, a Glayan ship just left earlier, but I saw an on board. I wonder why he was on that ship. She doesn't know that Odexa and Lou Bear are working for the Deglans. Should I let Razzie know this or not? Big Sis? Razzie, let's head back and consult someone about this. Could he? Alright. Now. Let's head back to Western. Okay, let's go now. We are in Western. Oh, we must give Master the cash for the weapons. Well then, Big Sis, we'll meet at Master Sakura's after you're done with your business. Why are we meeting at Master Sakura's? Because Master Rondo is such a great man, and he's a bit scary. Is Master Sakura not so scary? Not at all! I think Razi will be a great craft lord one day. So anyway, I'll get going now. Oh, we should return to Umati's again, so keep the ship you borrowed from my uncle. And we will go ahead and give the shipment to Braun in the next episode. But if you guys like this episode, by the way, make that like button your bitch and follow me on Twitter at Time for a Massacre on screen and linked in the description below. But until next, oh, don't forget to participate in the discussion for today. What is the best flavor of chips? There's really no wrong answer except for salt and vinegar and sour cream and onion. So, I'm the Medieval Massacre, and that's the 411.